Welcome to Roofing Road Trips, the podcast that takes you on a thrilling journey across the world of roofing. From fascinating interviews with roofing experts to on-the-road adventures, we'll uncover the stories, innovations, and challenges that shape the rooftops over our heads. So fasten your seatbelts and join us as we embark on this exciting roofing road trip. Hello and welcome to another Roofing Road Trips from Roofers Coffee Shop. And this Roofing Road Trips is live at Western Roofing Expo. And I am here with a returning favorite, one of my favorite people in roofing, Abby. (laughs) Welcome to Roofing Road Trips. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Happy uh, to be here. This is um, I, this is fun in person. We're usually on a Zoom I know. talking to each other. Yeah. This is really cool right here. This is great. So please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do with Certainty. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm Abby Feinstein. I'm the Director of Product Management, Marketing, Sustainability. And so, yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, we're responsible for making sure that the product line reflects what the market demands. And that's, uh, for, for me, that's re- uh, on top of commercial buildings and infrastructure, including roofing. Okay, yeah. I love what you just said. I have never heard it said that way before. That Which part? The part about reflecting, the products reflect what the market needs. Yeah, yeah. That, that's product management in a nutshell. It is. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it quite like that. That's oh. really cool. You are celebrating um, a big year. Yep. Um, talk to me about that. Sure. So last year, we celebrated our 20th year of Flintlastic SA being in service. And so this year, naturally, we're celebrating our 21st year, <laughs> which is fun, right? Because in the United States you have to be 21 to drink so we said you know let's cheers so you're cheers legal to now. 21 years yeah that's right so our plan last I guess they can just get when it's five o'clock done beers <laughs> yeah up on the roof up there on the roof go. that's right <laughs> I love it um okay so t- you and I have had some awesome podcasts and lunch and learns really talking about the essay um innovation, technology, how important it is, time studies. Yep. So talk a little bit about these last 21 years and really bringing SA innovation on, into the market. Sure. Um, in terms of technology innovation, to be honest, the formulation is largely what it was 21 years ago. It I works. mean, it, it works. It works. It works. Um, so of course we've done, like any manufacturer, ways of making that less expensive. We've qualified different raw materials so that we can help bring costs down and keep it keep yeah. it competitive without compromising quality to it. But um and the, the the base formulation is there. I can't give away our trade secrets. Uh, you know, there's different things that we do to imp- imp- improve adhesion. Have it go down consistently every time, I would say. We've done different things with our films, both on the top and the bottom. Um so it's it's not just you know, I think at the core Flintlastic SA takes the magic of modified bitumen, so which yeah. is a very tried and true technology, and you've got a reinforcement mat in the middle for the right. structure and the top coating and the back coating, and that gives it the muscle. Um, but we've finessed that, um, that the the SBS on the backside to be just as sticky as possible. Yes, um, and that's where that's where the SA comes in. So we've really taken the 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 core of what's always been there since the seventies and just put a fancy coating on the back so that you no longer need a kettle a a flame, you know, to put it down. You you get the performance of the modified bitumen, but with new age in safety and how to apply it. And and you've done the time um, studies on this. We have. yeah. Yeah. And not only is this faster to apply than, um, like a hot asphalt or a very, very traditional modified bitumen or torch even, but we did time studies, one-to-one comparisons on the same roof. We have a video of it, same roof yeah. with TPO. And in fact, a multiply modified bitumen system, which is giving you multiple layers of waterproofing, went down faster than a single layer of TPO. And I mean, when you really think about that and you think about what's happening with severe weather right now and how a redundant system, a oh, multi-play yeah. system is being required mm-hmm. in a lot of areas, but the fact that that's going down just as fast, if not faster, yeah. than a single ply, that's pretty remarkable. It is. And I think a lot of, you know, originally we did the time study with a consultant and it was a written white paper. Yeah. And I actually met somebody on an airplane that, that had read the paper <laughs> But said, but I'm a roofer and I just don't believe what I'm reading. Yeah. You know, and they needed to see it, which is why I said, well, then we need to film it. Right. Because it is. You wouldn't think. No, you wouldn't. But honestly, you know, most of the TPO rolls are 10 feet wide, some larger. And the fact that 
our roles are, and all modified roles, it's not just certain team, right. but all, are three feet wide. You need less people to handle them, and you're, you're just a little bit more agile and nimble, and okay. you can kick it out and go faster. A little faster. Once the base sheet is down, get a couple rows in, you can start going over that with the cap sheet, right. and it, it's just fast. Yeah. Very fast. It's a, and, you know, there is a lot of discussion out there right now. Um, we just had a Coffee Conversations on this about um, the – what safety wise OSHA with the rules and you know the how hard it is or not hard on the um, installers on the roof yep and so there's a lot of benefits to those smaller rolls yeah carrying them for sure I mean you're not you don't have a crew that's picking up a 10 foot wide roll of TPO you're you're dealing yeah. with cranes you know so right. you don't need any of that and in terms of health and safety just I mean honestly not having the hot kettle not dealing yeah. with 350 degree asphalt not dealing with an open flame with a torch uh, or even the solvent-based adhesives, whether it's TPO or modified. So right. having essentially all of that done at the factory and then just sticking the factory-applied film on it, it, it grace, greatly reduces the health and safety risks afforded on, on the roof. It's really something to celebrate, 21 years. I think so. I, I, I really do. What are you hearing from your contractors? Because, I mean— you and I probably watched the time studies, what was that, two or three years ago, yeah. maybe, that you did this? Yeah. And we've had it on the site, and we've, a lot of contractors, we've, you know, done podcasts on it. But what are you hearing from the contractors who have really kind of started putting their business around this and, and talking to building owners about the redundancy, about the performance, the longevity, all of that? Okay, well, I'll say this, but I can only say it to contractors. So if you're okay. a building owner, you need to close your ears. Okay. <laughs> Did they okay. close their ears? Yes, they okay. did. Okay. We're safe here. So the contractors are loving it because what we heard ever since COVID, there was uh, a limit on fasteners. You couldn't get insulation. Yep. There was a run on single ply. And there has been a slow and steady, and, the, and this year we saw a big time resurgence into modified. Yes. And a lot of that is with SA. And what we're seeing is they're getting on more jobs. They're putting it down faster. It's less labor intensive and yeah. they're making more money. They're making more money. Right? So I don't, right? So <laughs> it's, it's, it, do, it does the have, checking a, all the boxes. Yeah. And it, it has a higher material cost, right? Which you can mark up and that's great and pass it on to, pass those costs on to customers. But the, the labor is less. And so the install cost is comparable, but the profits are higher. Yeah. And we are hearing that. So folks that have kind of moved over, whether it was because of COVID or whatever, um, we are seeing folks that didn't go back to single ply once it was available because they could see that they could make more money yeah. with SA. And and let's just talk about the um, durability of that system. Because sure. one of the things you said, sustainability, right? You are focused on that. Sustainability is about how long a system can stay on the roof and perform um, before having to be replaced or covered or whatever. And ModVit just that's what it does. It's there. And so what are you seeing from a sustainability and just a longevity of those systems on the roof? Yeah. I mean, I think sustainability encompasses a lot of things, right? It's the yeah. embodied energy to make the product. Uh, it's the freight to get it to the, you know, so I think there are a lot of elements. We could talk about sustainability for just a, for a half hour, yeah. just on yeah. that. But for sure, the durability of, of that and whether or not you're going to need to tear that off at the end is is all part of circular economy and sustainability. And so I think what I like about it, and this is a little bit Flint Lassic and, and a little bit Smart Coat, which right. we've talked about, yes. is eventually, I mean, if you maintain a, a two-ply modified system, I mean, you've got 80 mils just as the base sheet. <laughs> and then you've got a whole nother cap sheet, which is thicker than that. Right. Um, so, so you you have redundancy and more thicker thickness and puncture resistance to begin with. Right. With solid proven elasticity to handle building movement. So, if you maintain that roof, even if your warranty is fifteen years, to be honest, you probably have a thirty year roof. Yeah. You know, if you've got a, a twenty twenty five year modified system that could probably last fifty years if it was maintained correctly. You know, yeah. but at some point when you reach the end of that life, there's nobody telling you that you need to tear that off because then you can code it. Right. Right. Then you yes. can put down a restorative system, re-engage the roof, and now you're coating with smart coat for the rest of its life. And you life. have that and durability have already there. Built into the yeah. base. Yeah. That's right. Um, and w that's been a big topic all day today on Coffee Conversations and everything is talking about service and maintenance programs. Yeah, and really, huge. when you are taking, maintaining that roof every year, it, it, it does lead to a very, very long life. 
And if you're a contractor, it should be a very long relationship. Yes, right? that's what so you want. Put a roof down. Put a, r- a repair and maintenance program together with your client. Watch after that roof. Treat it like it was your own. And after, I mean, hopefully you want to be in business for 30 years or more. At that yeah. point, put down a restoration system. Code right. It. I know. And and, sh- and kind of give your customer that vision from the beginning. So you're putting down a, a bulletproof system that you're going to need to do very little with for the next 20 to 30 years. And then the plan is to not tear it off in the end, but to code it. Right. And I mean, OK, we're at the Western states. We're in, um, you know, looking at a state like California mm-hmm. right now there. I mean, just think about 20 years from now, 10 years. It's already happening right now. They are not letting I mean, they are charging if you're not recycling, if mm-hmm. you're going into landfills. Yep. So this solves problems, especially in California, but everywhere for really being able to have the type of product that you can show that long vision. Yeah. Because they're going to spend so much money down the road um, that they don't have to if they do it right in the first place. Yeah. And I think homeowners and building owners alike are kind of catching wise to that. Yeah. Like you have to build for the long haul. Yes. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'm going to go back to that California, too, when, just on the SA, so we can kind of circle back around. Sure. But it's the type of system. No VOCs. No, you oh, know. Yeah. I mean, in California, this is exactly yeah. what they want. Yeah. It fits in with California everywhere, but we, we see it, I mean, to play that out because yeah. you don't have, um, you have no, you have no volatile chemicals and adhesives that you're using to put the system down. Right. Right. Um, and you don't have the smell of the asphalt that you would normally get with modified with a torch or a kettle. Right. So we yes. see it very popular on nationwide hospitals, schools, areas where occupant disturbance is a problem. Right. Exactly. Um, but yeah. you can, th- that's a microcosm that, that is the state of California. Yeah. Right. <laughs> with the yeah. whole nine yards. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's really, I mean, when we're looking at it nationally, but when, uh, you know, when the last things I would talk about is severe weather. Mm-hmm. I mean, the severe weather, we've just had a terrible hurricane in Florida. We're seeing he- severe hell like we've never seen before. And yeah. it's not just in the Midwest anymore. It's everywhere. No, We're welcome to climate change. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so these are the kind of products you need to be offering your building owners. Yes. Resilient systems. And our uh, we had uh, some contractors that were really dedicated torch contractors for a long time. And they wanted to see our wind uplift resistance of SA. And they go head to head. We actually put out a technical bulletin because we were like, oh, if they're thinking about this, of course, other contractors are thinking, you know, you wouldn't think that a pressure sensitive adhesive would afford you the same kind of wind uplift that a torch does. I get it. I wouldn't think so either. It's like a big sticker. Yeah. Right. But it does. It does. It really sticks. Yeah. And what we see in our lab trials and and this is the way they do the wind uplift test is you, you set the system up and it sits before you try to blow it off right and the longer an SA system sits that bond only increases yeah as it not decrease as it ages right so we we do a two hour a 24 hour and then 30 days and it's it just grows that is it it really I I said this earlier it really checks all the boxes yeah installation helping with labor savings helping with the labor shortage and then really delivering the right products for the building owners so on the residential or commercial side because on the residential side we see it a lot they like all of our colors and it matches our shingles and it's quick to get up on a whether it's a full flat roof or just a garage on commercial side we've got our bright white we've got our cool star yeah um yeah what everybody needs yeah. All of the above. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. Um, so, okay. Celebration this year, 21 years. Yeah. Any new things? Because I always have to ask you because you always have cool stuff going. Anything every, people should be aware of coming up into 2025? Just kind of some new product development. Not just about Flint Elastic, but um, everything. What, what do you have? Uh, can you, anything you can share with us? Oh, I wouldn't say we're 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 working on like breakthrough totally new we're working on uh honing ah, right and it's both it. on the product side and on the process side so uh one of the things we're really proud of right now is we're working on a recycling center at little rock oh. so we're turning our little rock manufacturing facility into zero waste so wow we're gonna take all the scrap from all of our flint elastic products and we have found a way to incorporate it that does not change the properties of the product at all that's so great. that's a big thing so so that won't be a new product but it'll right. just be an improvement to our existing products, but yeah. that's something that's taking a lot of our attention. Uh, we're working on making our Cool Star products brighter and whiter for longer. 
Yeah. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out for. And uh, uh, about a year or two ago, we launched, back to Flynn last, I got to say, yeah. we launched Arctic Edge, if you remember. Was yes, our, I do. We so, have, yep, it's on the site. When you say check in the boxes for everybody, right? Yeah. So one of the, one of the, I guess, holes for SA was cold temperatures. Right. It was 50 degrees and rising. So mm-hmm. we filled that hole with Arctic Edge, but it's not quite cold enough. So right now it goes down to 32, 35 degrees. Uh-huh. But we're hearing from our friends in the north, not here in western states, but yeah. you know our our uh, even actually like Kansas and higher, and especially right. folks up in Canada, that it's just not cold enough to get them all year round. So we're working on making Arctic Edge colder. So keep an eye out for that. That's it. You know that just totally um, rings the right bell because what we're talking about is you said 21 years. And you haven't really changed because it was such a good product. You've only enhanced. Yeah. That's enhanced. kind of across the board. When you have the quality products, you do need to just keep honing. We're and honing. keep doing. I yeah. love it. Finding ways to make them more sustainable, less embodied energy at the plant, yeah. more recycled materials. Yeah. That, that's where, that's really where our focus is on. That's sustainability. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's sustainability. We need that along with all the durability we can get. With yeah, the, the that's why weather. I'm at CertainTeed. San yeah. Ban Globally, huge sustainability goals. And, and honestly, I mean, it's it's why I'm here. It's what you believe. It's what I believe in. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Ah, I love these conversations we have, Abby. Um, okay, so contractors out there who are saying, wait a minute, have I, I, should, be watch- I should be doing this. I should be involved. Yeah. How do they get started? Yeah, yeah. Um, if you've never used Flinlastic SA, I would uh, certainly... Well, we have territory managers everywhere. But yeah, I would start with your territory manager. Yes. And walk into any roofing distributor and they would know who the certainty, local certainty, low slope territory manager is. And then from there, really, it's about training. Yes. Right? So there's what we can do in your neck of the woods. And then if you want to get further in, come down to... We do a lot of our... Of, of our uh, like a two-day hands-on program to go from soup to nuts out of our Little Rock facility. That's training, 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 training. training. We have a lot of stuff digitally so we can get you started, whether books or video. Your territory manager can do some local hands-on stuff with you. And then I think up, take it up a notch and come down to Little Rock. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Man, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, as always. And congratulations. Happy anniversary. Thank you. 21 (laughs) years. Cheers. 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 Yes. Um, thank you all for listening. This is a live roofing road trips from Western Roofing Expo. Um, you can catch all of our podcasts under the RLW navigation under roofing road trips or on your favorite podcast channel. Be sure to set your notifications so you don't miss a single episode. We will be back again. Watch for us. Roofing road trips. If you've enjoyed the ride, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on every roofing adventure. Make sure to visit rooferscoffeeshop.com to learn more. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next roofing road trip.